Hey YouTube, point shooter here, just standing up off my tarp. Well, I'm out doing a hike today. My first hike since October. Uh, anybody who corresponds with me knows that I had uh, was involved with a hit and run driver, uh, was hit as a pedestrian back in October. So I haven't been doing much hiking lately, waiting to heal up. Well, I'm out at my favorite spot today. I've got my uh, Solaris 40 with my new sleeping bag. See, I got my boots off, got my vest off, letting my feet cool down a little bit. Just hiked in uh, about two miles in. Uh, I've got my, as I said, my Solaris. Wanted to give you guys a preview of what I take with me on a day hike. Now, keep in mind, this is a little bit different than my normal kit because I'm set up for uh, doing videos today. So I've got uh, things like my tripod and uh, my laptop, a couple things like that. Uh, actually, my netbook is pretty cool. It's it's very light. Uh, you can see I've got my knee pads on. It's a shout out to Ion Denu. Man, for four bucks, these things work great. You know, they're not they're not wonderful in the sense that they uh, they kind of stick out and they don't have the gel. But for me, with bad knees, they're they're more than enough. So let me open up the pack. Uh, the front pack. It's just got uh, batteries and my transfer cable, uh, a little bit of trioxane. Um, let's see my Leatherman just some uh, some handy use items now the front pouch This is something that stays consistent. Let me get the strap by the way on every pack that I carry Every pack I carry has three items on it. Well four a fire steel a knife a Compass this one is a thermometer too and a whistle now the whistle on this pack is really awesome, and I'll show it to you in a sec It's right here on the sternum strap check it out now you couldn't see that, but that wasn't me off screen with another whistle. The North Face packs have a whistle built right into the buckle right there. I think that's awesome, and I think that ought to be a mandatory law. I think that really all backpacks ought to have a signaling device on them because what do people do? They get out here, they're not prepared, they don't have the gear, they end up getting in trouble, and then they don't have the way to get themselves rescued. So that right there, uh, they say a whistle carries, what is it, uh, 30 times louder than the human voice? and it takes so much less energy, if you try to yell for help, you're gonna yell yourself hoarse within a few minutes. And then you won't have any voice left when the actual rescuers come. Now there's ways you can improvise a whistle, taking a tin can and making the uh, the little pee whistle. I know Cutlery Lover has a good video on that. I tried it this summer, didn't get it on video, but I'll probably do it again. But uh, at any rate, has a whistle built in, got the fire steel, got the knife, uh, and got the compass. So I've got four of the, uh, I've got at least three of the, uh, I've got cut, um, fire, combustion, signaling, and navigation all covered. So, let's delve into the pack. Obviously the seating bag's attached, sort of jerry-rigged. I just have the straps tied up through the tool loops at the bottom, but it works. All right, I'll do the side strap. Oh, the other thing I keep on the outside, I know of a microlight. This is one that's not in very good shape anymore. I gotta put new batteries in it, but I always have one on my key ring. But it's, this one is, is not for navigation, it's just for seeing inside the pack. So up inside the top here, pull it back. What in the world is that? Those are my tent poles. Uh, collapsible tent poles with tent spikes wrapped up in my socks so they don't rattle. Got my first aid kit. You guys saw this in my survival kit video. Got my survival kit. This is the contents of that pack that you guys saw the other day. I've got a new food to try, a Coleman mac and cheese meal, toilet paper. This is a very old MRE. I don't even know if it's good anymore, but we're gonna find out. This one's from 2002. Got my netbook for downloading. Two Nalgene bottles, one with the cup, one without. Empty plastic bag for garbage. Down the bottom, got my adventure medical kits, heat sheet bivy. Down under here, I don't really want to pull it out, but I've got inside a target bag, I've got a USGI casualty blanket. Those are those uh, foam uh, aluminized mylar blankets with grommet holes on the side, can be used as a poncho, can be, or, uh, sorry, as a lean-to. You can use it just like a USGI poncho. And then I have a Stearns uh, USGI style vinyl poncho. It's not heavy like a regular poncho is, but it's enough and I've slept under it before. Uh, the only problem is they tend to rip very quickly. So, uh, and it, it's 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 more substantial than those little throwaway bivvies or throwaway ponchos. But I'll show it to you off camera sometime. So at any rate, this I'm going to end this segment of video. I'm doing a series today, so check back in a few minutes for the next section. Take care. Point you to wrap.